Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to start some fertile eggs under a broody hen. And apparently I am a glutton for punishment because if you saw my last broody hen video, it did not end very well at all. And she ended up killing all of them. So this time I'm gonna take a totally different approach. And instead of like separating her from the other hens and keeping her locked up more, I'm gonna just let her do whatever she wants. I'm gonna leave her in with the other hens in her nest box. I have all the eggs marked now, so I'll be able to tell them apart from the other ones. And I'm just gonna let her do her thing. And if she changes her mind and doesn't feel like it, I'm not gonna freak out and we'll see if this works any differently because that last time was not fun so I'm just doing totally opposite. <laughs> so I'm just about to go put the eggs under her right now. I really hope this goes better than last time and I will keep you guys posted on how it goes. I'm really curious to see how this goes. I am very excited. We're just about to go candle the hen's eggs. Well, we candled most of the eggs, but I can't really tell right now, so we decided to leave them. We didn't candle all of them, but it's really hard to tell, and it wasn't totally dark in there, so next week, I'll candle them. I'll be able to tell for sure and take them out, but all the ones we candled, I could see veins, so that was really good. But I just don't feel confident enough to, if I didn't if I didn't see veins on one, to be able to take it out. I just wouldn't feel super confident in that decision. Last night when I put the hens away, I counted all the eggs under the hen. I pulled them all out. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I was scared of disturbing her, but she's doing so good. She is such a good mama hen. So I pulled them all out. There was five extra eggs under her that hens have snuck in there and laid. And then there was also one broken, so she only has 11 eggs now, and I'm pretty sure that one of the hens that got in there to lay eggs broke that, because she's doing so well that I don't think she was the one who did that. So overall, it's going exceptionally well. Well, we candled the hen's eggs, and they are looking amazing. All of them are fertile, which is an amazing fertility rate. There's still 11, so I told you guys that one got broken. They haven't broken anymore, which is really great. And she has less than a week left because I was a little bit late candling them. And I can't believe that all of them are fertile. That like has never happened to us. So I'm so, so excited to see them hatch and see how many actually hatch and I will definitely try to film as much of it as I can. I don't know if I'll be able to actually film them hatch because they're underneath her, but I will try my best. So the eggs only have like two days until they're supposed to hatch and I just went out there to check on her and I found this. One of the other hens must have gotten there and broke it. I don't know what happened. Maybe she just stepped on it, and, but it looks like most of the shell is gone. But the poor little thing, it's, it's fully developed. It's a nice healthy chick. That's really sad. It didn't make it, I don't know. I I always feel like this when, when something dies like that. Like, I wish I could have gotten to it sooner. Like, maybe I could have saved it, but I don't know. It was probably too early for it anyway, but because the you can see on the back here, the yolk sac is still on the outside of it, and they usually absorb that in the last couple days, so it, it probably wouldn't have survived anyway. I don't know if all the rest of them are there yet, or if any more got broken. I didn't want to disturb her too much to count all of them, but we will see how many hatch. It is a rainy and dreary day out today. Last night, I went out to check on the hen again, and she was sitting, like scooched over a little bit from where her nest is, and there was like eggs out of her on this side and eggs out on this side. So I don't know what happened, something weird happened. So I kind of dug out a spot in the bedding for her nest again, and I put all of her eggs under her. I counted them first. And there's only nine, I don't know if one broke before the one yesterday that died or what, but I mean nine out of twelve, that's pretty good. That's way better than our other hen did. And the eggs are supposed to hatch tomorrow, I'm so excited. So today me and my brother are going to put a little cage around her area so that the other hens can't bother her when the chicks first hatch. I probably don't have to do that, but 
The other one ended, ended so poorly and I just want her to have a good chance with her chicks. Plus we just put um, those four pullets we got earlier this year, we just put them in with the big flock. So I just don't want anyone to bother her. Just want her to have her own space with her own food and water. Yeah, I don't want her to have to bring her chicks out to the water outside and the water they have right now are too big and the chicks might drown, so. You guys, the chicks are hatching today. I must have totally miscalculated that because I thought they were hatching tomorrow. But there's two chicks in there and there was one that had the shell really like kind of broken and demolished really weird, like half the shell was gone. But the membrane wasn't broken, so I knew the hen probably stepped on it. So I took that one inside and used some warm water a little bit and just took the shell off of it and warmed it up and then dried it with a towel and I put it back out underneath her. <clears throat> so hopefully that one does okay. It was alive and seemed to fine, but I guess we'll see. I've heard that they don't always do as well if they can't break out of the shell themselves. They don't get as strong. So, but I mean, I didn't want to let it die, so. So that one was black. And then there's a, a yellow one and another black one that I already hatched and are all dried up. And then there's another of the brown eggs that's pipped. And then all the other eggs, I could feel chicks like moving around in there very violently. <laughs> So I'm so excited. I actually decided not to do a little cage around her nest. I put her in the cat kennel and I'm gonna put her in that little chain link area right there. I went and picked up some Rhode Island red pullets today so they're just gonna go out with the main flock and she's gonna go in there with her chicks because I just want them to have some time by themselves. But that'll happen tonight. I'll move her tonight and I'll move them over tonight so that big hens don't fight with them as bad. So I'm so excited, they're so cute. I'll get some really good video of them once they're moving around more. It's just poking out. Okay, we moved the mama head into this little area. I'm gonna let her out. She probably won't come out for a little while. How are you doing? If there's any more eggs under there, they're probably gonna need help. This one hasn't even pipped. This one hasn't pipped either. Hi, little guy. So there's these two eggs and they haven't pipped and by this point they probably won't. I don't hear anything in them. But I'll put them underneath her. Oh dear, she's gonna break them. I'll put them underneath her and see. And later when she comes out, I'll handle them. So I pulled out the last two eggs from underneath her and I opened them up and they were both dead. There was a black one and a yellow one. So they were fully formed and just didn't make it out of the shell for some reason. I don't, I'm not sure why, but I'm about to go in there and count them because she hasn't brought them off her nest yet. And I really want to know how many there are. I'm just in suspense. So we're going to see how many now. Don't hurt me. She's really mad now that they're hatched. I want to see them. I'm scared of her. <laughs> She's going to get you. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> okay, well maybe we're not gonna count them. <laughs> She's a lot meaner now. <laughs> okay, I guess we're not gonna count them. <laughs> She's so scary. She's got her evil eye. She brought them out. They're so cute. There's seven of them. We, we were able to count them last night when she brought them out. So there's three black ones, one brown one, and one yellow one, and then one yellow one with a bunch of stripes right there. Hi guys, it's a few days later and the mama hen and all her babies are doing so well. She is such a good mother. She like attacks us anytime we go in there, so it's a little scary when we have to give them food and water. <laughs> it is a good sign that she's a good mom. She could probably go in with the flock and be fine. I'm gonna end the video here. I will still insert a bunch of cute clips of the chicks after this, so if you want to see more of the little chicks, just keep watching. Uh, but I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye! Yeah.